Hi guys and welcome to Sergio's Studio Engineering Channel. Uh, just a continuation for our preview search sites. Today we are going to uh, determine or specify the thickness of the best plate uh, for a steel column. So if you are interested, play stay tuned. We are started right now. The basis of our practical exercise for today are the one represented in the image. The anchor balls are uh, one of them are subjected for a previous uh, uh, previous exercise of balancing forces, and then uh, each one of them, each one of the three, are subjected to two hundred and twenty kilonewtons. Okay, the press plate uh, has been uh, specified as a steel grade S three fifty five G zero. Okay, in accordance with European uh, European codes, and in according to that European code, the steel grade uh, of uh, S three hundred and fifty um, has been defined with a limit J uh, limit uh, steel grade of three hundred and fifty five megapascals. And at the uh, left uh, right corner, uh, bottom uh, right corner, you can see the uh, free body diagram of the forces acting against the best plate. So um, at the end of the day, the thickness of the best plate uh, will be defined uh, for the critical or the governing um, the governing um, solution, uh, taking into account in one in one part of the exercise uh, the tensile um, for the anchor balls or the compression the compression uh, forces um, transfer uh, through the uh, flanges of the steel column. So we are going to make uh, those separate exercises to determine which are the critical, uh, which are the critical uh, condition uh, to specify the base plate uh, thickness. According to tension condition, um, uh, as you can see at the, at the right uh, corner of the image, it is represented uh, the section AA, which is the pan view for the base plate. Okay? Uh, and then you can see the layout for the anchor ball represented in green color. Okay, and uh, for for that reason, we are going to assume that there is a distribution of forces of forty five degrees for the center of the anchor ball against uh, the closed uh, flange of the steel uh, shape. Okay, it is important that uh, for the for the plan view we can um, get uh, two important conclusions. One of them of the that uh, distribution forces has not been no, overlapped, so we have uh, to. Um, define the uh, anchor ball layout uh, in a, such a manner that there will be not overlapped uh, uh, surfaces for those uh, for say the 45 degrees and the second as the second uh, important condition or um or conclusion that we can get uh, for this exercise is that the necessary uh, sometimes is necessary uh, because of that uh, uh, in terms of avoid uh, uh, overlapping it is to extend the, the flanges uh, um, with uh, stiffeners okay um, in that direction not in the opposite one that allows us uh, to create that uh, effective base uh, effective base uh, for the best placed uh, that in our particular case it is um, defined uh, with a b equal to 120 uh, and 20 millimeters so in order to get the thickness of the best plate uh, for the tension condition provided by the anchor ball according to navier's law we have that the steel subjected to a bending moment equal to mg uh, um, and divided by the resistant modulus of elastic uh, resistant modulus we okay is equal we have to develop this equation to um b um t uh, uh, square root of of uh, 2 and divided by 6 uh, we assume um elastic um, modulus resistance of a rectangular section okay that's what we are uh, studying. As you can see, we have a uh, resistant rectangular section that this T represents the thickness of the best plate, and then the variable B is uh, the one indicated in the sketch is 120 mm. Okay? So if we isolate it, uh, uh, T, if we isolate it, T, we have the square root of uh, 6 times EMD uh, divided by B and divided by the uh, steel, steel, uh, steel uh, rate, uh, limit, uh, limit, uh, J limit uh, for the steel. Okay? So in accordance with the Eurocode, we have this 
and the sigma for steel, we are going to define it as the elastic limit of the steel divided by gamma m2 uh, equal to 1.5, uh, a safety factor uh, to be applied uh, for connections and um, design of anchor bolts. So um, this is the equation, and then we are going to get and to complete each of the elements of the equation to get the value of t. The first thing we have to do is to, um, to um, analyze or to get the value for the bending moment. It is very simple. Uh, with this uh, assumption of the calculation of the best plate, okay, we assume that we have a cantilever, okay, when uh, where the load applied to the cantilever, it is the tension, uh, the tension force of the anchor ball itself, okay. We have uh, twenty uh, two hundred and twenty kilonewtons, okay. The length of the cantilever is the value of 60 mm, okay? So we get a bending moment, bending moment, equal to 220 kilonewtons per 60 mm, okay? So this value is equal to 13.2 meters kilonewton. So if we, um, once again, we introduce this value to the uh, aforesaid equations. We have six times 13.2 multiplied by 10 elevated to uh, six, okay, in order to uh, convert the many moments in newtons per millimeters, okay, divided by the width, okay, of the, of the rectangular section um, to be resisted by this best plate, and divided by the steel J limit factor, by the safety factor equal to 1.5. So if we multiply, if we operate these values, square root, we get the value of 48 point 20 mm. In terms of commercial solution, we say 50 mm as a thickness of the best plate under anchor ball tension condition. So if we want to get uh, the thickness of the of the best plate uh, due to the compression uh, the compressor transmitted by the column flange uh, uh, condition, uh, we can apply the following equation. Okay. Let's call, first of all, uh, dimension Z, okay, Z, uh, la, the distance that is indicated, okay, uh, measured uh, from the flange or for the web of the column shape uh, to a certain limit, okay, uh, where it is supposed that the compression stresses are going to be transferred uh, to the concrete uh, under uh, under contact, okay. So in in Eurocode we call that a Z must be equal or less than a thickness of the best plate multiplied by the square root of F G uh, K divided by gamma two and three times okay F C D uh, assuming that the um, this is the uh, compression uh, design compression strength uh, for the concrete for the growth underneath the best plate so this is the equation that we are going um, to complete in order to verify if the thickness that we have obtained uh, uh, through the uh, tension condition it is also is also valid uh, to um, to comply with the uh, compression uh, transmitted for the column flange so if we develop the uh, aforesaid equation we have the c let's be equal or less than 50 mm okay that is uh, the thickness uh, that we have previously obtained through the tension condition um, multiply by the square root of 35 30, uh, uh, 355 divided by 1.25 three times we assume uh, uh, a concrete compression strength equal to uh, 25 megapascals and as usual as usual divided by 1.5 as a safety factor in accordance with a European code. So if we um, if we operate 
these um, terms three times divided by the of rules. We get that dimension shall be equal or less than equal or less than one hundred and twenty mm. Okay, as you can see here in the um, as you can see here in the um, in the right corner, uh, in red we indicated uh, like a surface. Okay, so uh, that is the surface mobilized um, by the flange um, uh, and by the dimension c. So. Um, once we get the value of C, we can get the effective area under the flange of the of the column. Assuming that the the steel column is a HEB three hundred and forty, that is the effective area that we have. It is um, uh, the height is three hundred plus two times one hundred and twenty, multiplied by the flange. Of the HEB 340 plus 2 times uh, 120. So let's operate. We get an area equal to 141201. A square millimeters okay so the capacity in terms of compression for the area of the best plate under the flange it is the aforesaid effective area multiplied by the compression resistance under the best plate so uh, if we operate this divide it for we get uh, 2,353 kilonewtons, okay? Uh, the value is clearly bigger than three times um, uh, 220 kilonewtons provided by the anchor bolt. So, uh, 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 the thickness that we already deducted for the tension condition is completely valid uh, for the compression um, in accordance with Eurocode 3. This is the end for the video for today, but before leaving, I would like to recommend you um, the, the following website. It is called in Spanish uh, uh, Archivo Digital UPM. Okay, it is a depository for uh, a lot of technical content uh, with uh, very, very interesting uh, PhDs, technical papers, and, and so on. And um, of course, uh, you can find there uh, the, that my first technical paper, okay, that was on a comparison between the base. Uh, base plate design between Eurocode 3 and the uh, uh, American steel code AISSZ. So um, if you want to uh, go deeper in the uh, T-STAB concept and the difference between the Go code, I'd invite you to uh, go uh, to visit uh, the website. And nothing else by the moment. I hope to see you soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, to share with your fellows and your beloved ones. And if you like more content about uh, like the one we have shown here, please do not uh, hesitate uh, to visit my LinkedIn profile okay, in that social network. Bye, take care. Nothing else by the moment. See you soon.